If somebody has complicated problems, uh, what are some of the new techniques that you can do? And let's look at a shoulder replacement. Sure. Well, a typical shoulder replacement, most of the time now, is a stemmed component. Let's, let me take a look at that. So this is the arm and this is the ball that's right there. That's and right. you're going to fit that into a socket. Where's the socket? And here's a plastic socket. All right, so we've got a socket. So that fits, well, that feels like that's pretty good. <laughs> it so, rotates that, pretty smoothly. Yeah, and so we're going to be doing a lot at the end of two and three and four and five and six months with this. Absolutely. Well, what kind of complications can you have to do something other than this routine? Well, sometimes there's not as much bone on the cup side of the joint. The shoulder is not as privileged as is the hip. The hip has a lot of bone, as does the knee. In the shoulder, we don't have as much bone on the cup side of the joint, so sometimes we're not able to put that in. And in those cases, or sometimes when those go bad, we leave a big defect there, and what we have to do is go in and put some extra bone in there, and then sometimes we revise that to a reverse shoulder replacement. Which reverse is some... shoulder replacement. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does, but what you do apparently is what? <laughs> it's completely opposite, so let's take a look at this here. This is a base plate for a reverse shoulder replacement and it's actually got a screw in it here. And so what this does is this goes on the cup side of the joint and then this fits uh -huh. on top of that, okay? And then instead of having the ball on the, on the oh, stem, my the, goodness. Ball is, yeah, the ball is now on the cup and you've got the cup on top of the stem here. So the arm, instead of having the ball, now has a cup. Exactly. And the other part where the cup was is now the ball. So exactly. it's reverse shoulder. It's reverse shoulder replacement. Hey, it even took a scientist to figure <laughs> that out. Hey, does, are those effective? Are those effective? The yes, those shoulder? are very effective. And uh, it has really been a paradigm shift in how we're able to manage very complex shoulder disorders. Heretofore, we did not have an answer for this. We would try various tendon transfers, different kinds of stuffing techniques, things that were just you're trying, you're grasping for straws to try to help the patient. But when this got approved in 2004 by the FDA, they launched it to about 60 surgeons and then it went from there. And we've just started putting more and more of them in and they have worked really, really well for these special indications.